Hello and welcome back to the Crooked Man. My name is Cat and I will be your guide on this this Paul adventure. Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey. Dave, stay away. David, you That's not a revolver though. I'm I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm a, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I have. David, wh what's that? I dig the music. Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now, David. Uh. Uh. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but times can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So shut up. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? You say good things will happen? Nothing is that. They never have. All my helping came to nothing. So I... D David, stop. Don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. You couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David, you're... The only time you'll ever understand is in your last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. Oh, crap. That was the wrong thing, wasn't it? David. Crap! Ah. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Okay, mm I'll be back in a moment. All right, and we're back. David, why are you here? Came to pick you up. Forget about me. Hey Dave, stay away. David, you, I'm hopeless. <laughs> I'm a crooked. <laughs> What's that? It's my shadow friend. I met him on the subway. Uh. Take the gun. Why, you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop, let go, just leave me be. Afraid I can't do that, David. You are my... Stop! Huh? What? Ah. Uh, crap! I'm not good at this. <laughs> pa! Did I just shoot you? I didn't. It can't be. I really killed. No. David, not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. It's not your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. You're just shaking rather unnaturally. I'm sorry, Paul. Crap. <laughs> Thankfully, I saved this time. I'm getting all the... Uh... Man. David.
Paul, why are you here? I've come to save you from yourself. Stop. Go away. Leave me alone. Just let me. Just leave me be in peace. I can't do that. Uh, why do you have a gun? Uh, life is agony. I'm hopeless. Uh, I can't do anything. Look at my hair. What's that behind you? That's my friend. He gave me pizza. Now we're friends forever. I'm gonna punch you. Ha! <laughs> I forgot. Ow. You damn monster. Get away from David. What are you punching? Hey, ow, ow. That hurts. Stop you, moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you'd do sane, I'd have to beat you up till you promise not to. Not about this stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Pass me that doobie. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Didn't, don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's uh, consciousness is it is. They sort of stick around in places. Or the occult shtick. Mm. You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. And pass me that frickin' blunt already. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. I took Psych 101. But some people are soft-hearted to the core and will always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left, and that was all stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? Didn't the book from earlier ask this question? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? Exclamation mark! He hated you, but he liked you. He thought you could share. He yeah. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He he helped me, got me back on my feet. Again. That's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. What a twink. You come back to us safe. I I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. It's like a jock twink, or whatever you would call that. Yeah, I know. Thanks. A jink? A twonk. <laughs> Central Hospital end. Boink. 
Scene four complete. Scene five. Home sweet home. How long is this game? Didn't expect it to be this long. This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? Who the hell are you? Excuse me. Can I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around here. Going for a stroll? Uh, no, actually. Uh, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Miss McGram? McGran? Someone named McGran lives here? Not anymore. Miss McGram passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house, it is. I meant to do a uh, Brooklyn accent, but I can't. <laughs> oh yeah, I think she had a son. Wish she'd just run out of a cell house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, I never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. That all? I gotta get home to home by daybreak or my wife will be living. It's good to take a walk in the morning, but it's sure cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Uh, yeah, thank you. You too. The mailbox says McGran. Must have been the resident's name. They already told me that. <laughs> a table chair covered in dust. Probably have to find the back way. Or not. Crap. Nothing's growing in the planter. Nothing's growing in the planter. Oh. Sorry for the paranoid saving. <laughs> a wash basin. The mirror has a big crack in it. Like someone punched it. The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. Ew. The toilet water reeks. <laughs> God. A washing machine. There are still clothes left inside. Phone. Stop going to sleep. The garbage can is filled with rotten waste. Pieces of shattered plates. I have shoes on, but I can't walk over them, apparently. There's a big gash on the wall. But why can't I walk over that? The floor is scuffed up. So what? Found a scrap from a notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more and I tear up the paper. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Shells are full of odd junk. Big gash on the wall. Broken teacup. Old telephone. Found a scrap from a notebook. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, my f even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of the despair? Such a life has no meaning. Toppled chair. Stove is stained with burns and rust. Small bookshelf. Broken mirror. Toppled coat hanger. Fallen radio. Another scrapbook. 
or another notebook scrap. Why, why, why? No, 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 A dirty bed. An open shelf. Looks like there are some albums inside. <sighs> that's ominous a stack of firewood probably for use in the fireplace well yes I don't really know what else it would be used for scrap from a notebook out of cigarettes I need a smoke broken mirror pile of books Pile of books on law, specifically. Black cover notebook. The rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combined all the scraps into the notebook. There's a name on this. Duke. Duke McGran. There's almost nothing in the desk. A deflated volleyball sits on top. Crap. Crooked man, we meet at last. I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. Ow. Hey, whoa. Wow. Holy crap, how am I supposed to do this? Oh no. Oh my god, yeah, I can't move. Oh, that's nice. I have no freaking clue. You telling me I can't shoot him over the frickin' table? Oh my god, let me go yeah, okay, so I so if I let him touch me once I'm pretty much doomed. Ow, oh my god. Oh my god, move where I tell you to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can I not use wa wazda and something else instead of arrow keys? And there that goes. Yep. Oh my god, will you... This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, let me move! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, now I'm stuck on a thing. Oh 
Oh my god. The arrow keys will not let me... When I press up, it won't go up if I happen to be pressing... Like, it used to be... It would it would go up. Like, even if I was pressing right, it would start to go up. If I pressed up. But now it won't even do that. Ugh. Holy freaking crap. I do not like the controls when having to do freaking combat. <sighs> I'm not going to be like you. You won't catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So... Be gone! There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Open the door. Oh dear. Duke. You, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted me to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me. No, that's not right. You were trying to help me. To tell me don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place. So, I hear there's lots of earthworms and tiny rocks. Now, you can rest in peace. Wow, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while you're on a trip? That sounds like it ended up alright. I'll go get you some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later, I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh? Okay. I'll head right there. there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. Oh, snap. Let's go. Take my back. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Doctor, Mom, Mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tuba isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's, she's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Doctor. Mom. Mom. The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. 
She might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David? Mom! Mom! Oh, thank God. You woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared and screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? I'm not entirely too sure that's how that works. It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was always just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. And after all the hardship I'd given her, I foolishly doubted. Thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. Until you became a crooked man. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I think you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. Oh, no. Here you go, Mom. 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 She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself, those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer, if I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion. Why are you? Shirley? Why are you? Hey, Shirley. I still ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the cold sho- <laughs> <I wanna laughs> <clears throat> We're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley? <sighs> Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I got unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David, if it's okay with you, would you like to... D David? I'm sorry. Please, don't cry. No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed, and I just lost my only family. I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we can set them straight, if that's what we want. 
David. You know what I think? <gasps> the crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in this crooked house. Look at those sun rays, it's beautiful. I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Hey, so that was the end of that, oh, was it? That was a good freaking game, like, aside from it, uh... The controls are just, like, the arrows, the arrow pad and the space bar, and honestly, it did not feel very good, especially not during the, re the repeated combat. Uh... Especially, like, because it wouldn't, it, it wasn't really, uh, consistent whether it would let me turn or not whenever I pressed another button. Like, half the time it would, half the time it wouldn't. I loved the music, though. I like the pixelated, classic RPG-style layout and whatnot. I like the, I, I'm a, I rather enjoy psychological horror as a genre. As well as just horror, obviously. Uh, I like the different little hints and whatnot. I didn't really find... I didn't really have all too many issues with it, aside from the control scheme. And that's mostly just a me thing. Congrats on getting the good... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got every single other bad ending before I got the good ending. But, uh... This is a bonus area. You'll lose access to it. F crap about the series the sand man the boogeyman and the hanged man oh god it's a series I don't have enough money for that I don't have enough money to continue doing that what was that what the heck is hmm. well then I'm, I think that's all that there really was, though. Um, moink. Ah, overshadowing. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ride. I'm sorry I'm freaking terrible at the combat <laughs> and everything. Uh, uh, if you want to acquire this game for yourself, it's on Steam. As most things are these days. Um... There should have been a link in the first video. I don't. If I didn't put it there, then surely I will fix that error another time, as soon as possible. But until next time, hope you have a wonderful night. Goodbye, and remember, don't drink the water after midnight. <laughs>